Petrangelo, you know, you, you just hit on it, so I guess we'll go there. Um, it feels like we're looking for daily updates, but yeah. there's, they're not necessary if nothing's changed. I mean, where do we stand on that today? No, nah, look, I mean, I, because there's no interview period, um, general managers are, are doing their due diligence, right? And, and they're trying to get to a place – um, those that are interested in taking a swing at Alex Petrangelo, whether or not he's real, whether or not he's getting a market on October 9th. Now, again, we, we know how Doug Armstrong works. He's as crafty as any manager in the league, period, and ruthless because more than anything, he wants to win, period. Um, you know, he's fair, and, and you know, he's a good guy to his players and, and, and all of that. But something tells me, even though I was the guy that reported on the weekend, that talks had broken off, and the message from the team, which is true, was to Alex, look, you better prepare and, and get yourself ready for free agency because we're not going to make a, we're not going to be able to make a deal work here because of the structure and, and some other issues. What if Armstrong goes to the Petrangelo family on the 8th of October and sweetens it just a little bit? You know, gives him a little bit of the structure that he wants. You know, is that going to be enough? to change the mindset of, of Alex Petrangelo because it, it does feel like a stretch to me that St. Louis isn't going to try at least one more time. And if they're unsuccessful, then there's a long line of teams that are going to take a shot at this guy, including the Toronto Maple Leafs, because as you guys have talked about at length, he is financially aside, financially aside, just put the numbers aside if you can. He's exactly what the Maple Leafs want and need. He's exactly what they want and need. So, yeah, Dregs, isn't there teams? Them, they're try. Isn't there teams saying, "Look, what exactly is the structure that he's looking for? Whether it be Toronto or another team, you know yeah. that somebody's talking to the agent saying, yeah. what exactly is this guy looking for?' And they're saying yeah. we can make that happen." Right, and and you know, I don't have the specifics, but I I'm going to take an educated guess here. Okay, you know, you know, it's going to be the signing bonus money. No Same kidding. Cash, right? What's that? Yeah, no yeah, kidding. No, yeah, That's yeah. going to be massive. It, 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 the signing bonus money will have to be there. And St. Louis is a, isn't a cash-strong team. They've never given out bonuses like that, and they don't want to start now even with their captain, Alex Petrangelo. And then I believe that there would maybe have to be some some protection on the back end too as, as well, salary-wise, right? So deferred money, if you will. Um, so it's it's being creative, but I when you're a player like Alex Petrangelo, I mean, you've earned your right – to, to get to a place where other like players have gotten to and they've enjoyed the the benefits of being a coveted, unrestricted free agent. The crappy part is sometimes you have to leave to get it, and Petrangelo is apparently willing to do that. So Toronto could give it to him. Lots of the teams that are interested in Petrangelo uh, are in a position financially they could give it to him. So if he sticks to his guns, and he remains committed to that structure, then he's not going to stay in St. Louis. 